We are not your average family. My name is Rachel. You know me as Yoga Girl. This is my husband, Dennis, and this little ray of sunshine is our baby girl, Lea Luna. We live in the Caribbean island of Aruba. Welcome to our channel. Welcome to my channel. I am super mega forking sick. I wasn't planning on doing a YouTube video this week because I feel like absolute crap. So I don't have a fever, but I'm crazy stuffy. I have pain all around my sinuses, like my head, my forehead, even my like cheeks hurt. <laughs> and I'm coughing and I have a crazy sore throat. I know that patient zero is Lea Luna because two weeks ago we were in Sweden, she got sick, and then three of the friends we hung out with got sick, and then we came home, Dennis got sick, and then there was like a gap where no one was sick, and then now I got it. <laughs> I am teaching a yoga teacher training in one day, no, two days. I have literally two days to get, not just better, but to like be on my A game. It's 23 days of like 12 hour days, super intense. A bunch of you asked about the natural remedies that I use when I'm sick and what other time to show you guys that than in real life, right now. <laughs> so this is not a glamorous video. There's gonna be a lot of snot in this video, but here you go. My all time favorite natural remedies to fight a cold or a flu that actually work. So let's see. So I am uh, home right now. Ow! I just banged my foot. <laughs> um, waiting for the baby to wake up. And um, like I go through waves in the day where like I feel really shitty in the morning and then my energy goes up and I feel way better. And then in the afternoon I can kind of feel this like slump and I'm getting toward that place right now. So something that I use in the day to day, especially around the house are essential oils. And we have an essential oil diffuser that I use all the time and I'll cater what I put in the diffuser for you know the kind of needs that I have. I thought I would show you guys, because this is kind of exciting, my essential oil box and how I use my diffuser because it's a really good thing for when you're sick or have the flu. Okay, here is our living room table and so uh, yeah, I have a lot of essential oils. Um, so my favorite companies are actually the smaller companies that are a little bit less um, known. I really love this brand. Um, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Flora Copea, Flora Copea. Um, but then there's a ton of brands that are really good. I think the Aracasia is really good. Um, a really famous one, of course, is the doTERRA ones. Ooh, I love this brand. This is a Canadian brand that I really, really adore. This is Sage. They have really good blends that I like. Uh, once upon a time, this box was totally organized and I had them like in order of their use. Now they're just kind of a mess. Okay, so let's look at some oils that are just really, really good for flu season. Um, lemon oil is always super good. This is antibacterial and also works as a disinfectant. We have peppermint. Um, I have a couple of different kinds, but this is a Swedish brand. Um, I don't even know how to pronounce, I can't pronounce anything. Peppermint is really good for digestion and of course, as you know, it's good for to help you breathe and to help clear your sinuses. Um, eucalyptus is also really good, also really good for, why doesn't it focus? This is also really um, helpful for your respiratory system. If you have a stuffy nose, this is a really good thing. It's also an antiseptic and also antibacterial. The last oil I'm gonna take out is the Thieves Oil. I love this one. This is just like a lifesaver. You can use it for so many things. If you have a headache, um, you can just put one drop of oil on your thumb and place it at the roof of the mouth. It actually really works. For my diffuser right now, of course you fill it with water and then I'm gonna put a couple of drops of peppermint. This is hard to do with one hand. <laughs> 
can you open this for me? <laughs> you have to press it down and then twist. It's childproof. <laughs> Thank you. Couple of drops of lemon, not too much. And then like two drops of eucalyptus. That's it. Oh, <laughs> the cord was not plugged in. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Do you like it? <laughs> you look so skeptical. I was gonna make a note. Look at this, I'm gonna burn the house down right now. I was gonna make a note to not overfill your diffuser and look at that. Okay, I'm gonna have to plug this out. You can't blame me, okay? I'm sick, my head doesn't work. Right, good morning you guys. Um, it's officially day two of my sickness. I basically didn't pick up the camera at all. I'm already feeling better and I'm gonna show you what I've been doing three or four times a day. The natural remedies that I'm taking that I know are working. Let's go. So right next to our fridge, we have our six little super boxes right here. Here is where I keep our vitamins. I keep our superfoods and protein powders here. And here is where I keep natural remedies, like holistic medicine. Um, up here, I keep all of our Chinese herbs. So the Chinese medicine goes right here. And here, I can't even remember. Oh yeah, I keep my mushroom coffee here. And then in here, I keep actual traditional Western medications. So like paracetamol and ibuprofen and stuff in case we need it. And the natural remedies and the vitamins. Number one, I keep my actual vitamins. Um, I take these every single day. They're the ritual for women. I take two of those. They come with little drops of peppermint oil, so they actually don't have that bad like vitamin taste, and I love that. I take one thing of probiotics every day. Um, yeah, usually you're supposed to keep them in the fridge. I have like a higher quality one in the fridge, but I take this one um, if I'm on the go. Now diving into the natural remedies box. There's a couple of things that I always go to right away when I feel a cold coming on. One is oil of oregano. I'm gonna take that out right now. GSE or grapefruit seed extract. I have this remedy called a sinus blaster. It's from Vitality Works. Um, I use it all the time, I swear it works. Echinacea, I use, um, actually I'm not using that right now. I just intuitively didn't feel like I needed that right now. Sometimes I take it in drop form, sometimes in pills forgot one thing. And the last thing out of my vitamin box is me and the baby, we take a spray of B12 every day. Super simple. And now the last remedy I'm gonna grab from the fridge. We keep it with our chocolates. <laughs> and it's black elderberry syrup. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys what I take on a daily basis whenever I'm feeling a little bit under the weather or when I'm full on sick. First thing that I'm gonna talk about, which is one of the the first thing I'm going to talk about, which is one of the two most important things that I go to when I have the flu or when I have a cold, is GSE or grapefruit seed extract. Grapefruit seed extract has a ton of essential oils and antioxidants, and it also contains really powerful antimicrobials. I think I'm pronouncing that right, which basically fights bacteria in your system. Whenever I feel like just a little bit of like the hint of a cold, I'll take a couple of drops of this in some orange juice or some juice or in my smoothie or whatever uh, and drink it twice a day. When I'm actually sick the way I am right now, I'm gonna take 10 drops three times a day. My second go-to, and this is equally important, if not more important, I don't know, is oil of oregano. Oil of oregano, it's crazy. Potent. It's really, really, really strong stuff. Uh, this also kills off bacteria. It's antifungal, antiviral, uh, so it'll kind of help boost your immune system and help fight any bad stuff that you have going on. Uh, some people take a drop of this under their tongue. I don't know how you can do that. It's really, really strong. Uh, so these two things together, the grapefruit seed extract and the oil of oregano, like two most important things that I use whenever I'm sick. I've never used it on the baby. I feel like it's really strong and I don't think it's appropriate for kids as far as I know. Um, note that I'm not a doctor, not an expert, I'm just sharing what works for me. Another thing that I use is a mixture of herbs and essential oils. This is called a sinus blaster. Whenever I find like a natural pharmacy or a natural like apothecary, I always go for these kind of uh, like special remedies for specific things. So this one has a really big blend of echinacea, it has garlic, cayenne fruit, olive leaf, licorice, 
Uh, just a lot of herbs and roots that are meant to help support the body and to support the immune system. When I'm stuffy like I am right now, I'll add some of this to the mix. I have another blend that I love, which is called literally the Killer Blend. Um, this one, like, I'm a little nervous to use, but the Killer Blend has a ton of ginger. It has something called Oregon Grapefruit, which I don't even know what that is. I've only used it once, and I look at this as like the the super extra boost when I like normally would go and get like an antibiotic or something. And then I use these little soothing throat pastils. Instead of getting the generic kind of strep seals, you know, like the pastils for your throat, which have some of them have really bad stuff in them, um, I just go for something more organic. So these are from St. Clair's and they're organic throat soothers. But the trick for this is I put all of these things. I'm gonna take my oil of oregano, my GSE, and my sinus blaster. I'm gonna put it all in a little shot glass of OJ, down it, and make sure I have a chaser of something because it tastes pretty bad. All right, so starting with the GSE, um, this is a really bitter thing, so I would never put this directly in my mouth. I always dilute it with something. I'm gonna take 10 drops of that, put it into my OJ. Um, so be really mindful with the GSE, do your own research, but um, definitely don't put this directly in your mouth. I, I don't think that's a good idea. And then oil of oregano. <laughs> I know people who put this directly like under their tongue and stuff like it maybe it works faster that way but that's just too intense for me so i'm gonna go with one two three four nine ten oops ten drops of that oh yeah now i know what i forgot <laughs> okay i gotta go get it i forgot the black elderberry syrup um, and this is a really powerful immune booster. It's just a super boost to your immune system. Has a ton of vitamins, minerals, antioxidants. Um, things you need to just to kind of give your system a boost. This is um, gentle enough that you can give it to your kids. I give uh, Lea Luna like half a teaspoon once or twice a day if she's under the weather, which she is right now. <laughs> I'm gonna take about a teaspoon. And this I will do once a day. I feel like I'm a, I'm a witch making my own little concoctions here. Okay. Salud. Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> I'm too scared. Okay, salud. Oh man, it's so intense. That oregano oil will literally have your lips feel like they're on fire for like a minute afterwards. Whew. These are my go-to things, the oil of oregano, the grapefruit seed extract, the sinus blaster, and black elderberry syrup. Together, there's just a really good combination of safe natural remedies you can use. Make sure you go online, Google them yourself, give it a try, don't overdo it, follow the recommended dosage, and of course, ask your doctor for advice. I've been taking them, this stuff, like three times a day now for two days, and I feel like I'm kicking this cold pretty quickly. I'm already feeling a lot better. Another thing that I, of course, do is take a lot of fluids, so drinking water and tea and more water and juice and more water, and I like to juice ginger, turmeric, and lemon, and add some cayenne to that. Okay, I'm gonna swim 200 meters. Swim 500 meters. 200. Five. Two. Um, if you have a juicer at home, you can easily juice fresh ginger, fresh turmeric, fresh lemon. Uh, I add a little bit of cayenne for that for heat. We have a vegan restaurant that juices for us. So, cheating! Here we go, cheers. Oh, damn. Ooh, that had a lot of cayenne. Ooh, ginger and lemon is super good when you're sick. You can also just chop up some ginger, put it in a big pot of boiling water and make your own ginger tea. Let it boil or simmer for a little while. And guess who's sick now? Did mommy get you sick? Mm. Did everybody get sick? Did we make a loop? All right, we are at the studio right now. 
It's been uh -huh. It's been two days since I was sick. I feel better. Baby's cranky. And I uh, hope you guys are feeling better wherever you are. <laughs> are you holding the camera? Who is that? Lunis. Lunis. Papa. Tuk, tuk. No. <laughs> Can mommy have the camera back? No. <laughs> Give the camera to mommy. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>